Hello everyone, it's Nathan here at Nathan Studio. So I did receive questions from you guys about how to create a bullnose roof. So in this video, I'd like to show you three methods that I like to use to create such a thing. Well, each method has its own pros and cons. So we're going to explore them and you will choose what works best for you. So let's get started. Well, the first thing that you want to do is to create the basic shape of what that thing is going to look like. So I'm going to do that in a section or elevation. I already have an outline already here. So I'm going to pick a polyline and I'm going to make it red so you can see it. And I'm going to create a basic shape. So it's going to be like so. So we will choose the polygonal method of construction. And this is how the basic shape is going to look like. And it needs to be filleted on this side so I'm going to choose fillet and about 350 here and that's what it's going to look like now for the first method we want to use the shell tool but the shell tool does not work in the sections unfortunately so we will copy that so I'll say ctrl c to copy and I'll go to the ground floor here and I'll say ctrl v to paste and just put it here on an empty space. And now I want to space click the shell tool. So with the shell selected, but of course we need to change a few things. So I'll go to the settings and make it a little thinner because it's a, it's a roof. Perhaps it's like 50 millimeters thick or whatever. And you can choose the material that you need. And for a roof, maybe it will be steel. And perhaps it could be even thinner than the 50 but we can choose what it's going to look like on either surface. So you can go ahead and choose the things, the colors that you want it to show. So I'm going to say, okay, for now with this first, first one selected, be sure to check the second method of construction. And before we place it, it we need to know how long our roof is going to be. So it's about 5.5. So. I'm going to space click, hold down the space bar and click onto this shape and I'm going to put in the 5.5. So when I say okay, it's been placed and it's gone the wrong way. I needed it to be on the opposite side. So if I scroll here, there's an option for flipping and I'll do just that to have it on the other side. Now this currently is in the wrong plane and we need to rotate it so we can do that by opening one of these elevations i'm going to say open this elevation in the new tab and i'm going to pick this and Control e to rotate and have it horizontal and of course in the floor plan you need to place it exactly where you need it and for my case it's going to be along here and no worries, we can fine tune it from our section and mirror it as well to be on the opposite side. And that's the very first method of how to create this, uh, this uh, bullnose roof. Well, perhaps it's not finished in concrete and it's easy. Just select it and uh, choose roof corrugate sheet, sheet mat. And uh, well, that's more like a roof. For the second method, we'll use the morph tool, which is much easier to use. So for this, I'm going to make a copy here so such that we do not get interrupted. And I'll offset this copy by the thickness of the roof. So we did choose something like 50. That's a massive roof, but you can use the thickness that you deem fit. I'll go ahead and close this shape. So, so I'll choose the morph tool and space click to place it in grab this and move it all the way it's in the right place and like we did before you can choose the material that you like to see which is going to be steel in my case and in the flow plan find the morph and probably it's along the section line and move it to where you need it so for my case it's all the way to this side and remember the distance is about 4.5.5 in 3d i'll come and extrude this thing by that distance so clicking onto the surface i'm going to get a paint palette here selected i'll make this 5.5 i say okay and now that has been created well this is much easier but 
the issue is when we go settings we can try to texture paint which is going to be roof corrugated sheet mat so there we are and you can see that there is a painting issue here but uh, there is a way we can fix this so with this thing selected we can go to document creative imaging and align 3d texture and we can set the direction so clicking onto the surface we can define either graphically or just on the surface itself so we can define graphically graphically we can see that this is supposed to be 90 degrees so 90 degrees to the surface when we say okay now that gets fixed but we have a couple of issues here which you can deal with independently for example if we say Control shift to click on this surface we can select that surface alone just make sure your magnet here is selected it's the magnet hand so Control shift to select this surface and you can see that surface is selected when i go to the settings i can change this from box to planner and that gets fixed and as well we have an issue on this very one so when i select this i can go up here and try to do the same thing it's not working but if it doesn't work we can still go back to document creative imaging and we have a line 3d texture so i'm going to set the direction and here in 3d we get this thing which shows the alignment and you can move it around click on any of this point to get this pet palette and now we need to select the drag option which is that one right there so we we'll get any of the corners and bring it to somewhere like here so i'm going to put it on the one of the existing corners such that we this make some decisions now so we want to rotate i'd like to rotate such that this thing gets aligned with that so with the rotation selected i'm going to click this point and this final point and bring it up like so to right there and click again and now it's been reset like you can see here so easy right hope you did get that so if you wanted to have a different texture in this place you can ctrl shift select to select that surface make sure you zoom in i am not zoomed in quite well ctrl shift select here i go to settings and change that to a white for example and look at that that's it about the second method so it has its cons like you you can see so if you cannot deal with those planes and how to make the, the texture look correct well you could try the first method or the next one which is going to be for cases where you need a lot of detail in the roof itself so for the third method apart from the section itself we also need to create the color corrugations part and we can do that by going to options element attributes and profile manager so here in profile manager let me create something called color gates whatever you want to call it and we are going to make a few things for example let's decide how big they are going to be in my case i'm going to use 50 i guess yes and the inside so make a copy and the inside is going to be perhaps a 40 yeah that's that will do i'm going to move this to <coughs> the beginning point right there and make several copies before i make several copies i'm going to need just one copy here in order to create something that you need to see here so let me cut through so control click to remove these parts and these ones as well to have that continuous loop that stops and terminates right there so this is the sheet that i am going to do now we need this to be about 5.5 long like we did before so i'm going to move this up here just for reference and put it above so with this selected i know that i'm going to multiply it by 180 so control u to multiply and i'll spread this by 180 so i will do that for a couple of them all the way with shift holding down shift in order to 
place them like so so they should end at this point so be sure to close it off right here because we are going to use a fill in order to capture that space in between so with this fill selected choose the material that you like in this case it's going to be steel so space click to capture that space and it's been captured so we want to save this let me save it as a wall beam and a column you'll see in a moment why so i hit save and now we have collagate saved as a profile so now when we go back to our section right here we want to use the beam tool to create this shape so either we can create a, a copy of what is existing already so let's just make a copy of this one why not and just change this to a custom profile and then choose color get where are you and there it is right so something i did forget let's go back here in our color get and move this because i need the control of our material here to be at the ground here at the zero mark so i'm going to move this up let me save and you see what i'm talking about so now if i go back here in section i need this blue line you can see this blue line goes on the lower side which i need in order to move this to where i precisely want it so now we have this made now in order to look at it we need to find it in plan here and see what it has done which is our in this drawing so let's move it to cover the areas that we need and to sort of confirm whether it is the right thing we go here in 3d and there we have it isn't this really cool so we have a first profile but then we need to create the next profile so we can do that by either selecting one of these so i can select one of these beams and also make one another one so just make an independent beam let's just a simple short one and like we did before just change it to a custom profile and choose color get and well it's in the wrong way it means that perhaps it's facing the wrong direction let's see yeah it's actually it's facing the right direction let's just move this to the end here and we need to edit it here in the uh, section so we are going to need some guidelines horizontal and vertical so with it selected move it backward with this option to our guideline and vertically with this option to down here and bend it with this option to right there well we need to change how it starts so in the settings we need to make it flat at the start there you have it huh isn't that chilly cool huh <laughs> in order to even see it well let's select all of these we can in the model make them another material i'm gonna choose iron here and in floor plan give it a, a light pen for an uncut let's use 0.18 and that looks insane doesn't it but of course if you wanted more overhang on this thing for a vertical beams are not going to work for you because they are not vertical you cannot draw vertical beams you will need to use a comb so that's why we did save it to be operable with combs so even here in 3d we can choose the comb tool and just be sure to make it as short as possible i'm gonna make mine about 400 high and just place it here and perhaps it needs to start from right there just change it to a custom shape and choose the color gate shape and of course it's the other way around uh, you have to rotate it which is by ctrl e and move it by the 90 
underline it and that would be really cool in order to make it you know look like the rest of the things just make it black and you're there so there you have it the three methods that are that each of them has their pros and cons i hope you found a method that's going to work for you so thanks so much for watching and i'll see you in the next one Thank you.